What's going on everybody? This is Entrepreneur, and in this video, we're gonna do a review on the company NEO. Now in these last two weeks, I had an investment with NEO. I invested $7,000 into NEO before the earnings call. And last week when they had the earnings call, before I tell you guys the story, go down in the description below and get some free stocks so I can do some free stock reviews on the free stocks that I will get from you guys signing up. So let me tell you guys the story. So really, this is a two part story. Firstly, I took all my money out of Dogecoin at the beginning of April. Big mistake. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I took all that money out to put it in the Coinbase IPO. Big mistake. That's all I'm gonna say about that. So, as somebody who owns up to the mistakes, yeah. I went ahead and began trading stocks again and trading crypto simultaneously. And I have to say, so far I've seen a bit of success. Now I've been seeing videos on YouTube and other things like that, like articles and people on Reddit talking about NEO and how their earnings call was coming up. So me knowing what I know, before a company has an earnings call, they usually have pre-anticipation runs. That means that the price gets driven up from people trying to buy in and right before the earnings call happens, the price goes down. So the idea is to get in before the pre-anticipate, ah, before the pre-anticipatory run pre-anticipatory run and make money off the pre-anticipatory run and then sell out before the pre-anticipation drops hypothetically get back in after the earnings call depending if it's a positive or a negative call so neo obviously had a negative call but the price didn't drop very much so as you can see here i got into neo at 35 dollars and i was only able to sell them at 39 dollars. now this is the part where i messed up i meant to sell them at 42 dollars, but like a dummy i set a limit price on a friday come back monday i woke up late and let's just say the price dropped a couple of dollars and instead of being up 1400 dollars, i was only up six hundred dollars after i sold it but the good part is that a lot of people are anticipating that neo will double soon sometime this year i don't know will i be in for it I'm not sure but i am looking at this week to see if i'm going to hop into some of these earnings calls like amc for example amc was one of those stocks that got a lot of buzz because of gamestop just like dogecoin so i'm not going to really mess with gamestop however i may put some attention towards amc just to see what i can get out of that now today is monday the 3rd of may and as you can see here my current position is with cloak i'm at i'm currently at a 56 dollar loss now i'm going to tune in back with you guys to see if it's doing good or not probably by friday and the video will probably be up by saturday so yeah scratch that i'm gonna try to get it up friday and we're gonna see what we can do with that hopefully it makes me some good cash mustache cash stash you know what i'm saying mustache cash stash so what clover what's the deal with clover why am i invested in clover well as you can see it has a volume of 15.6 million and today's range was 921 to 1058 that's a high ass range and when i bought into the stock it was already at a five percent loss and as you can see here on the rsi line it was already at 30 not really below it but it was on the 30 line so me knowing what i know the rsi line basically represents that if a stock is undersold or oversold and if it hits that if it hits that 30 line that means it's oversold so i'm looking at a cool opportunity very short term opportunity probably by i'm not even gonna say by friday we'll probably know we'll probably know by wednesday how much money i've made probably by tomorrow actually now don't think that i'm invested in this because of wall street bets even though i kind of am because we can see on this article stocknews.com this is one of the healthcare stocks to avoid at all costs according to them not my words their words but you guys got to remember with these articles that these are all just people's opinion now some opinions may be more valid based off the person's knowledge or the company's knowledge whoever's writing it but at the end of the day nobody can predict what something is going to do now one thing i do like about this stock obviously that it has a bunch of attention we know now that things don't even really need a whole lot of value in order to make you money things really just need the support of the people investing their money into it we now know that if we don't sell something it has to increase in value if people keep buying it their estimated price per share is only negative six cents so long as people keep holding it it'll make you some money their earnings call will be may 17th so we probably have a lot of time to work in and work out with this five percent here five percent there ten percent here ten percent there i'm just trying to make some money guys if everything does go wrong i do have a stop limit price and this stop limit price is probably going to be at around seven dollars simply because things could go wrong people could lose faith suddenly 
just like that. Reddit has become a powerful tool in the trading world, and I'm gonna use this to my advantage, baby. So I know this wasn't a free stunk review, that will be my next video coming this week. But if you guys want me to do more free stunk reviews, and I'm just doing reviews on the free stocks that I'm getting, hey, go sign up in the description below, man. We all could use some free wealth, so why not? This has been Bridgepreneur, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go down and subscribe, like this video, because it'll help me with the YouTube algorithm. And until next time, guys, Bridgepreneur, out of here.